Well, hello, hello, my sweet dolls. This is Candy Doll. I am back here yet again with another unboxing. Before I get into that, I really just want to thank you all for being here and being a part of my sweet dolly little world. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so very much for being here and rocking with all of my little mini sweet little sweeties. And you guys are also my sweeties, my little dollies. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching me unbox toys and dolls and play with all these cutesy little people because <laughs> they are little people so thank you all for being here please make sure you are subscribed to my channel because sometimes people get unsubscribed for no reason at all and then you have to subscribe again so just please make sure you are subscribed and your notification bells are on so you will be notified whenever I upload a sweet little video yes and please what are you waiting for go on over to my other channel candy girl where it's just a mix of everything i unbox everything from dollar tree and you know clothing hauls try on hauls cooking talking about my cat miss summer rain just a whole bunch of fun cool things i am also running a birthday slash halloween giveaway over there because my birthday is coming up very very soon about two weeks on october 8th and also halloween happens to be my happens to be my very favorite most favorite holiday of all the holidays which just happens to be in october just like my birthday so if you're interested in knowing about the giveaway i'm running it's a pretty cool little giveaway go on over there if you're a crafty person this is for you if you're not crafty it's okay but i'm just letting you know i'm running a giveaway over there okay so i finally got oh my god a barbie signature look doll. say what and not the one that I wanted so bad that I that I ordered way back in May, I believe. The the black guy with the braids. So much pushback on that to Amazon. It is absolutely ridiculous. But he's really the only one I really wanted, honestly. I do like the clothes and some of the dolls. I might have wanted the blonde Ken one, but you know, I really just wanted the black guy with the braids. Okay, so. Who knows what I'll, when I'll get him, if I ever will get him. Maybe I'll have to pay more somewhere. I don't know. But I was lucky enough to find one of the dolls that I don't really care for, don't really want. But I happened to find her for $19.99. I was able to catch a deal on Amazon, and I got her. So this is the Asian Petite Girl Signature Looks. So I managed to get something, even if it's not one that I really want. So I got her. And it was funny, the box it came in. It was like a long box. I'm like, why would the Barbie be in a long box like that? Well, anyway, I guess because the signature looks boxes are slimmer boxes. So, yes, we all know about the signature looks dolls. I guess there's not really a whole lot to really say about it. These are the newest ones, the high-end fashion ones, I guess, if you want to call it. They're not expensive unless you're buying it, paying a lot of money because they're very hard to get, which Amazon has happened to be doing. But I happened to snag her for $20, $19.99, and I got it pretty fast, which is cool. Okay, so she's not really not one of my favorites. As you know, of course, as I said, this is the guy I really wanted. He's a maybe, but he's really the only one, if I had to get any of them, that I couldn't get any others, it was him. And, you know, there's a lot of bull going on with that. But I did get her anyway because I could do something with her. So, all right, so let's look her over. Really fancy, nice, plain white box with like some gold writing, Barbie signature looks. Okay, and okay, she's a little cute little Asian girl. She is pretty, you know, very interesting face. Not a fan of that hair. The hair is horrible, really bad. Okay, there's the outfit. The outfit is okay. You know, she's got she's made to move obviously let's get her out of the box shall we yes okay i got her out of her packaging it wasn't that bad okay so here she is miss little lady and this is number she is model number three i don't really know those sculpt names and stuff like that i just i know that the black guy i think they call him john <laughs> whatever i don't really care about their names because i would give them their own names anyway but here she is so here she is, Miss Little Lady. So I want to put her in size comparison to a Barbie. So here's a Barbie right here. And let's just stand her next to her. She's so pretty. That's the um, that eco-friendly Barbie doll. 
I love her. But anyway, there is the size comparison, as you can see, like that. So, yeah, she's a petite one. Oopsie, let me just put her there. Don't fall. And so, you know, I always thought her hair was black from seeing it in people's videos, but it's actually like a dark brown, which is not so bad, but it's just that the style is just horrendous, you know? So, here's the little review. There's her face. Pretty. Um, there's her outfit. The outfit is not so bad. I think the outfit is okay. Not really a fan of the shirt too much, but it's not bad at all. So there goes her, you know, made-to-move business. Let's see. Sometimes these joints are really stiff when you first get them. Okay, I got it. I bend it all the way. <laughs> I notice sometimes when I get the made-to-move dolls, I forget that their range of motion doesn't just stop here. You have to really kind of push it to really get it, you know to do what you want so there she goes at the elbow and she has like that pinkish undertone so if you wanted to use her body for another doll or rebody her or whatever that's how she's like the pinkish undertone which more than likely i'm going to rebody her don't kill me <laughs> or change her hair do something else with her hair or not i don't know how to um what do you call that to reroute dolls but i have learned about flocking that uh, as I've done with one of my other dolls over there, this guy here, I put some, did some flocking. So I can do some, I can, I can work with some flocking. So if I decide to give her a different hairstyle, I'm going to be always doing some flocking on her. If not, I'll just use the body for something, but she's definitely useful in some kind of a way. <laughs> so yeah, there goes her outfit. Is that the white on one shoulder? And then that one like that, it's Velcro. And the skirt is high-waisted, and there's it's just elastic, so like that, which is great. And it comes down past the knees. There's the knees there. And she just has, I don't know why they put these stupid shoes. And, of course, it's, is it flat foot? Yeah, it looks like it's flat foot, you know, well, sort of flat foot. Here's the little, yeah, it is flat foot with these little slide shoes. I don't know why they... Why can't they just give pretty arch feet with, to put some pretty shoes? Because it seems like a majority of my dolls are flat-footed. <laughs> and I've got a lot of flat-footed shoes. So, I don't know. I wish they would stop doing that. And she's got, of course, articulation in the ankles, which is great. And that's just it. I mean, she's very basic. Nothing to write home about. As I said, I didn't really care to have her. But when I thought if, um, when I thought about maybe when, in the beginning, before I knew these dolls were going to be so hard to find and all that, that if I did get her, I would definitely use her for the body or something like that. But now that I've learned how to do hair flocking on dolls, maybe I'll change her hair color. You know, just give her like a little mini fro thingy, whatever, with some flocking. Whatever. But either way, she is beneficial to my doll collection. So I finally got one of the Signature Looks dolls. But come on, guys. Let me get this guy. Let me get him. Please, please. I ordered him a long time ago. Please don't let me down. My birthday is coming in a couple of weeks, so I'm hoping by I'll get a nice little birthday surprise finally, okay, from Amazon. Because I'm not going to pay more than that unless somebody else gets me the gift. So, yeah, maybe I'll just tell my boyfriend to, like, get, get it for me. It, but it's, like, $49. And I don't really think that's fair for him to pay that amount. So, yeah. So, anyway. There she is. And here is her stand. So she's got the little clip there. Let me put her in the clip so she could stand, even though she's just a little temporary thing. I would like to try her clothes onto other dolls or see what other dolls I have that she would match. Oh, I can't get her shoe on her foot right now. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So she is a cute doll. You guys can do whatever you want. I told you my feelings on it. I am still glad to have her regardless, though. And at a $20 price, you know, at that. So that's not bad at all. So it was, I guess, a, a quick deal because when, you know, the, after it was $20, it was, like, sold out fast. Her hair is an absolute mess, though. <laughs> it, right out the box, that's how it looks. And it has flocking on the side and the back and all that. feels really soft, though. I just don't like this style at all. I would prefer to have no hair at all as opposed to this style. It's just not cool. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. 
my finally got a signature look doll. Yeah, finally got one. Okay, let's see what else we can work with here. I saw her actually briefly for like $20 on Amazon. I might still get her. She's one that I don't really care for either. I don't even like her dress. I really just like the body sculpt because she's tall and has that pinkish skin tone, which would definitely work for other dolls. But right now, I'm just trying to find a doll that would fit her body. And I think I do have a doll that might fit her as well that could really use that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay sweet, and keep dolling. Bye. Oh, no. Don't take my body. No.